Splitting the championship between yourself and Mike seems to be a brilliant move on your part. Is this something, if you're looking ahead to next year, you might consider doing again? I think, I think to continue, you know, in this capacity, you know, Mike, Mike and I, are, you know, we're good fit for this sort of setup. You know, there's not, not that we want to make a change, but there's not, there's not a whole lot of other guys that, that are comfortable being in this situation like Mike and I have been. So from that regard, it works well. Um, you know, I, I still think, you know, we need to get a little more consistency. You know, I mean, I think we've shown over the past few years that we're we're a capable team. Uh, you know, but but continuing to try to get better and take the next step to to be you know, more like what we want to be. I think we, we're still lacking, you know, some consistency week to week, session session to session. So, uh, you know, that's the, the sort of area I'm looking to improve in. Is that just a function of this is the first time you've really done this? So even though you've had a lot of success uh, already, it still is a bit of a learning process this year. Yeah, for sure. You know, I think some of it, you know, with, with the way the schedule is and, you know, the, the negative to the schedule is it doesn't allow for much testing, you know, whether it's track testing or off-track development in the season. So, you know, as, as we get to know Mike more and learn more things, we've, you know, we've evolved things with the car. And, you know, when we have some time, time to really uh, optimize some of the things that we've changed for Mike, you know, I think that we'll take another step forward as a team and probably be more consistent. Um, you know, I feel like we do have some, we do have more consistency on the oval side compared to the year before, and that comes with time and continuity, and, and those things will come with Mike too. Um, you know, we're going to play, we're going to tracks for the first time together. Um, you know, so you, you know, we're still kind of building the the Mike Conway database within the team. So, um, you know, but we always want things to happen fast. What have you learned throughout the season doing this, not being in the car every single round? You've had to expand uh, your personal uh, endeavors within the team. I mean, what have you brought brought in just having to be out of the car and help run this program more? Uh, you know, I think probably the biggest thing is, you know, being outside of the car during races and watching from a totally different perspective and, um, you know, seeing seeing all the things that happen during a race from the stand, from a strategy standpoint. You know, you kind of know what's going on when you're driving, but, you know, you don't have as much information, you know, or as much knowledge of what's what's going on around you as you do when you're in the stand. So, um, you know, it's a, lot, it's a lot of information to process. You know, it's hard to make decisions quickly sometimes. Um, so I think from seeing it from that perspective, you do, you do, you do gain some respect for the guys on the stand for when I'm back in the car, you know, maybe when I'm agitated that I'm not as informed as I want to be or not getting information quick enough, you know, you kind of know how, you know, it takes some time to process things on the stand at times, you know, with how quickly things change and, you know, whether it's whether it's something from race control or whatever it may be, you know, you don't always have the answer when the driver wants it. So I think that's probably been the biggest thing to see from a different perspective, but, and, and learn more about, you know, that I think will make me better in the long run. You came into this year with a close-knit team, a lot of good good people, enjoyable people. What is this uh, crazy Englishman brought to the program? Thumbs up or uh, is he a little st still a little bit strange for you? Uh, I'm still learning new words, you know, you know, it, some, he's kind of, you know, I kind of feel like I'm in the movie Snatch sometimes with some of the words he's using, but um, it's been fun. Mike's a great guy, you know, he comes from a great family, you know, I've enjoyed getting to know him, his parents have been around to quite a few other races, um, you know, he definitely fits into the team, the guys like him, um, and he's fast.